Everyone's so hyped up about this new Oxygen OS update. I mean, finally, finally, we have the OG Oxygen OS back. Is it though? But, but, but don't, don't just get that excitement just yet because I know there's a lot of inspiration taken from a lot of brands and there's actually eight details in this update that everyone's missed out on and two of them will actually make you go. So let's get on with this is Paige, you're watching Silicon, subscribe right now if you haven't, I mean come on just do it already and I have the Oxygen OS 15 beta running on the OnePlus 12 R. so what are the big changes, what are the new features and what about the spice? So as soon as I installed the Oxygen OS 15 beta on the OnePlus 12 bar, I was hit with a lot of OG Oxygen OS vibes, which is good, but don't give me hope. I mean, the OnePlus never settled Easter egg in the calculator app is finally back now. And one very subtle detail that people missed is there's a new two-tone option in the UI color setting that brings the black and white theme to the settings page, the quick settings, again, OG Oxygen OS vibes, especially with the newer icons in the settings page. Even the OnePlus Sans font has the same narrow look we used to love in OG Oxygen OS, clean and nice. Even the about page looks a lot better, it's a throwback, but again, don't give me hope, Nat. Now, one of the more controversial features in the new Oxygen OS 15 update is you can go with the usual quick settings and notifications panel or you can go with this split option. I mean, in this, the notifications are on the left and the quick settings are on the right, kind of like iOS. Plus, you can swipe left and right to move between them, kind of like HyperOS. I also noticed more rounded corners for the tiles, which do look nicer, but yes, you cannot resize the tiles yet. Apart from this, I also noticed some tweaks to the clock widgets. There's also a new note widget that I saw. OnePlus has also revealed new widgets for the shelf, so I'm hoping these are also available for the home screen, because who even uses shelf? The icons have also been updated and there's also two new icon packs. There's Radiance, which adds, well, Radiance, and there's Shadow, which gives a dark theme vibe and I quite like it. Now, one hidden option or detail is this new advanced visual effects option, which is pretty cool because this adds this cool blur effect to the folders and the notification panel. Your OnePlus is going all in in terms of attention to detail and like other brands, but yeah, kind of like iOS. Now, I know everyone's been talking about the new lock screen, the new animations in this update, but I think the super useful privacy features deserve a lot more attention. First, Private Safe is now better. You can actually create folders here and you can filter your private photos and videos. Another great security feature is that Find My now works even when the device is powered off offline. And this is all fine, but there's actually two new features that nobody is talking about. So hidden inside the settings of notifications and quick settings, there is this smart notification hiding, which you can turn on. And now when you get a notification, its details are hidden when the front camera detects someone peeping. Your front camera being used all the time isn't ideal, but definitely a handy feature. Also, the ability to hide apps and access them by an access code in the dialer has been present in Oxygen OS, but time for hidden detail number four. So in Oxygen OS 15, you can create a custom fake app to access these apps. You can set the icon, the name for this, and it will show up in the app drawer as any other app, and you can just enter your password to access these apps. Super cool. Look, all said and done, the biggest cool new feature in Oxygen OS 15 has to be the new lock screen. So you have these new flux themes in Oxygen OS 15, which are pretty cool. I mean, you get these different presets, and some of them have these depth effects, which we first saw in iOS. And this depth effect works with your own photos too. Plus, all of these presets are customizable. For example, you can change the clock font, you can change the colors like this, you can add weather details along with step tracking. You also have multiple text options to choose from, but yeah, no custom text as of now. I also like how you can match the home screen wallpaper with the lock screen and even add some blur to it like this. You can even add this glass pattern like effect on these wallpapers, very nothing OS like. And by the way, I also noticed two new wallpaper sections in this update, which look great. Now all of this is great, but the party trick has to be the new seamless lock screen. You just look at this, kind of similar to Hyper OS, but love how smooth this looks. And this works on all new Flux themes. I mean, animations have always been a big part of Oxygen OS, Color OS, and animations on say the OnePlus Nord 4 look awesome, but this update is taking it to the next level. First of all, animations still look flowy, beautiful, be it while switching apps, opening folders on the home screen, opening a widget, and there's this new bouncy animation when moving apps around, opening the notification shade. But the big deal is animations are supposed to feel faster. I mean, things are smooth and snappy, but you only notice the difference in speed when you do this. But my point is, who even uses the phone like this? Anyway, the faster animation should come in handy on more budget OnePlus phones, provided the budget OnePlus phones get animations. If you know, you know. 
Anyway, there's also a new Halo animation for the fingerprint scanner. There's also a new charging animation that looks pretty sick. I also like how the volume panel minimizes to this when you change the volume. I also like how when you go to the recent screen, it now shows you the last used app instead of the same one. Subtle touches, but nice. So Oxygen OS 14 had a sort of dynamic island-like feature, but OnePlus thought, why not go full retard? I mean, you never go full retard, but this is actually good. So you now have dynamic island support for things like music, timer, screen recording, and even apps like Swiggy and Zomato. And what's cool is you can swipe like this to see the different live alerts, as OnePlus calls it. You can even tap here and check out everything that's going on and maybe switch to the app. And OnePlus even lets you customize it, so you can just tap on it and open the app right away from the live capsule thingy. So dynamic island, but better. Oxygen OS also brings OnePlus shared OnePlus phones, which basically lets you share files from OnePlus phone to an iPhone. I mean, it requires iPhone users to install an app, but it does share files pretty quickly. Oxygen OS 15 also brings a ton of AI features like AI Detail Boost, AI Unblur, a lot of AI writing tools. And these are great, but not available in the 12R, only in the 12. Anyway, I know you want to know about the rest of the attention to detail features, right? So let's go. Okay, one really handy detail is this new option in Accessibility and Convenience, which lets you hide the status bar and the navigation bar in screenshot, works and looks clean. In the display settings, Eye Comfort and Sleep, there's a new Ultra Anti-Flicker option, which as the name suggests, should reduce screen flicker as best as it can for even lesser eye fatigue. Another interesting detail that I really like is now when you edit a photo in the OnePlus Photos app, you make some changes and save the photo. Now, when you go back to edit the same photo, it gives you this handy revert option to, you know, cancel out all the changes, kind of like iOS and even Google Photos. Now, remember at the start, I told you about these two details that will make you go. Oh, so everyone's been hyping about how Oxygen OS 15 takes up less system data, but here's the truth. I mean, here's the storage page on the Oxygen OS 15 next to the Nord 4 running Oxygen OS 14. And yeah, system data is a huge difference. 7.79 GB on the Oxygen OS 15 versus almost 19 GB on Oxygen OS 14. So yeah, looks great. But can you just look at the other data just right below it? Yep, 17.5 GB versus 4 GB. So it kind of becomes the same. Now, another detail I'm not a big fan of is that Oxygen OS 15 brings the phone manager app, which is practically bloatware, something we've seen in Oppo and Realme phones. I mean, it's not present in the Nord 4, but it's now here in the 12R, so yeah. To call and then I'll be lying if I said I don't like the new Oxygen OS 15 update. I think it's a really impressive update with a lot of big features, a lot of attention detail changes, and I know some of them are new, some of them are inspired, but I don't think brands copying other brands is necessarily a bad thing. The truth is iOS copies from Android all the time, Android copies from iOS, and it's fine, it's not a big deal because ultimately it brings out the best and ultimately it's great for us. Now, it's not all perfect. There are a few things that need to be worked on in Oxygen OS. For example, the widgets page needs to be revamped. The app draw needs to have support for more icons in the column. But other than that, my experience so far with the Oxygen OS 15 update has been really positive. But you tell me, what do you guys think? Comment down below. And if you want to know how to install this open beta on your OnePlus 12 or 12R and the upcoming phones, make sure to check out the description. All the steps are there. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.